Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, <laughs> I will be reacting to read to the final episode of Trigun Stampedes. It's gonna get started in three, two, one, go. Well, about that, mmm, mmm. <laughs> yeah, but one of us wants to have a little god complex. I'm not naming any names. You know who you are. Yes, sir. I honestly, she did to her best. The fact that it does also look like rum. <sighs> God. We all gonna die, oh my God. With him as God, yes. Mm -hmm. Become as God, yes! Sir, I don't want to accept this. Oh, you know, how about we destroy a gate real quick? You know, let us know. <laughs> We dying over here. I mean, why? There, there's no reason. I mean, can, can you outrun that? No smokes, no alcohol, no nothing. How <laughs> I would die, even though I don't smoke. <laughs> Was not expecting that last little bit. Okay, but. Mm. No, she she's gonna try. <laughs> she's the best girl. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, we really not even getting to open it today either. Oh my god. <laughs> And I think he generally wanted to do that, to protect his brother so much, but... <gasps> Corruption! This isn't right! Hell no. Goodbye, like literally before it hit people. <laughs> what the Goodbye. I am dead. I am dead right now. <laughs> I, can't I can't do this. The fact that you also have Meryl like running in the background, A plus plus. The fact that he also he looks like him off of me right now. Seriously, I'm dead.
damn doctor, can you just stay in your lane? Like, nobody cares. Oh, God. The fact that he just grabbed her like that, I... <laughs> what to say? What I want to say? I'm gonna keep that to myself. <laughs> Shit, my, I'm just right what the fuck I want to run on Twitter. <laughs> Neither one of them is going to get- oh! My- my god, sir. Holy fucking shit. I- I- <laughs> Yeah, this is giving me all the Akudama Drive finale feels, and I don't like it! <laughs> They had no chance. I mean, this hurts because, I mean, even I knew this was going to come, but still. Oh my god, and here he comes, monkey ruining everything!
the fact that this is only at the 14 minute mark. It's not the only way, though. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, you fucking eat <laughs> I can't remember. The showing of the bones. Oh. Oh. Nope, shut up, Nisha. Shut up, don't say anything. Don't say anything. Hush. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Is that supposed to be Meryl, Great.
Millie? <gasps> Uh, that's where we ending it. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, I'm not mad. I just need. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got a question. Who the fuck is that at the end? Um. Millie. <laughs> Millie. <laughs> Millie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. And, and then of course yesterday was announced in season two. But Millie! Millie! <laughs> oh. It would have been nice if we, you know, got to see her. But it's okay. I got the name. Oh, shit. I mean, okay. Here's a weird little thought. Like, I, I don't know why, but now when I look at this as overall, like, I know we were just ugh, original story, eyes and something. But now this, this whole first season feels like a prequel to the original series now. I, I mean, it's not to a point where I can, like, instantly go back and compare it. But... There, there still are differences, of course. We all know that. Um, the, the biggest thing is, like, Nai didn't die in the original, right? I mean, I don't remember. I'll look that up after, you know? What, what, okay. What are we going to find? His body <laughs> drifting in space. <laughs> No, those things are coming. Yeah. Watch like the whole freaking galaxy lights up. That's where we ended it. Okay. Still have a lot of and questions, you know. Mm, yeah, whenever the hell season two come out. Whenever season two comes out. Yes. We will get those answers. I mean, overall, like this, this whole first season was good. I mean, yes, everybody was very skeptical because of the fact is, you know, you take a beloved series and then it's like, oh, hey, it's announced that a, a company is going to, you know, make a new version of it and such but it's like i feel like studio orange they still kept it towards the original um while still bringing in new fans i mean yes the biggest thing that you know everybody was worrying about with this is could they really keep um the older fans like entertain and you know keep them for a while that was my biggest issue especially going into it like when it was first announced because i was like okay I'm signed up for it. Don't know who all is going to be in it. But, you know, regardless, because I love the series so pretty much, I already knew that I was going to be signed on. And, you know, it, it's just funny because, you know, going by the week one, had no idea who all was going to be in this show. And I'm sitting here and I'm watching it and I'm hearing Vash talk and I'm like, I know this voice. And, <laughs> and if, it's, if it's who I think it is, 
<laughs> and then it ended up being who it was. I mean, and so, you know, all I'll say is, you know, once again, trust your gut, your gut instinct. You know, usually you are always right about everything. Mm-hmm. When you trust that. I mean, because it's funny with that because when I'm thinking of, like, English voice actors and some of the roles and how, like, there's another one who's always in like everything that I watch and I'm like, sir, I know you I mean, yeah, you're getting your coin, but damn, like everything that I'm in, you're in. And don't take that as an offense. I take it as a compliment because I'm like, hey, you're getting your money. Trust me. I love it. I'd do the same thing if I was in their shoes. Hell freaking yeah. I mean, heck, even one of my like, <laughs> my number one faves, Mel Zayer, he's going to be in like several shows in the next the, the rest of the freaking year so your girl is very happy about that because like that man is too damn fine this is my opinion um but i mean yeah i i loved it from beginning to end i just the biggest thing is like okay the millie situation and going into episode one and then getting to roberto and i was like okay instantly majority of all of us really didn't like roberto because the fact is we didn't want him we wanted millie and then there was a point in time where it's like i got attached to him but something kind of told me that he was not going to survive and then boom he dies and so i'm guessing also the reason why they had him die was because of the fact is when they do eventually get to season two that is when officially millie is going to make her appearance now it does make you wonder yeah where the hell is vash where the hell is freaking nicholas like it in this it's two years later and such meryl is now kind of starting to look like her version from the original series a little bit mixed with a little bit of freaking laura croft from tomb raider i'm like ma'am ma'am this is the same chick oh my god but i mean it's just you have to think of everything that she's went through two years ago and because of that she's grown so much i mean seriously like for her once again best fucking girl like love her so much she will always be my favorite character in the show but damn like it, it's just <laughs> i didn't want this to end i mean i was expecting this to go into like the same route as the original series but i'm guessing because of season two they're kind of doing that um but uh yeah like i don't know why in some worship way even though we are we all saw and i die in front of us I don't know why I have a weird feeling he's going to come back. Like somebody is going to do something to bring him back. And then I'm just going to be like, well, there he is. Fuck. Like why? But I mean, he's an interesting villain. I mean, and sometimes they say like, oh, hey, maybe it's better to just bring in like the one best fucking villain. Yeah. But it did hurt. You didn't make me cry, though. That's the good thing. I was expecting that I was going to cry in this. I mean, because I know myself. But, like, literally seeing them, like, in the final moments of them fighting. And it just, one, it hurts because you never truly want to see any siblings fight over something. But because they're at both ends and stuff. And, you know, one of them is very corrupted and such. And the other one's just, you know, the sweet, adorable Cinderella that you just want to protect. Even though right now he looks like a fucking badass. And I'm just... No, nope, can't say that, Deja. That's not safe for work. We can't say that. No, 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 no. Save that for Twitter. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I can't say anything else because I feel like somebody's going to judge me. Please don't. <laughs> but it was good. It, it was just good. I, I just hope that whenever we do get season two it's not too long i mean hey finally after what two three years cobblers finally getting their season two and it's finally coming out yes thank you <laughs> thank god uh, so you never know i mean yeah like as someone who also wishes like so many other shows that are getting like season two is hopefully the big of one i mean yeah i just i would like it next year if you could, but I mean, you know, Studio Orange, they're probably busy with so many other things. I, that's the same thing of me, like, over here saying, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, I want Star Season 3. Um, or, like, something, because that ending of Season 2. Yeah. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards Episode 12, or really not even Episode 12, the entirety 
a try gun stampede if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all um tomorrow for the mystery shows and then eventually not well when i come back from vacation from california for you know the start of spring in me but until then i will see you guys all next time bye